How about an uplifting update on Trey Lawson, a student at Fort Valley State University paralyzed. But a video went viral on Twitter a while back after he was taking his first steps around the track in two years. Kayla Solomon catches up with Lawson, who says his prognosis just keeps getting better. After a car accident in June of 2017, Trey Lawson says doctors told him he'd never be able to walk again. But now, three years later, he says he's not only gotten rid of his wheelchair, but he's one step closer to his goal to get back on the track. Three years ago, there, there was no way I could move anything below my waist or, or I could, and my mind was in a horrible place. But. When we met Fort Valley State University student Trey Lawson in the beginning of 2019, he was still getting used to his walker. Lawson was a track star at Westside High School when he and two other people got into a car accident. This week marks the third anniversary, but now... I'm walking around my neighborhood every day. It's a lap around my neighborhood, the minimum. And I'm doing more. I'm, I'm just, everything's just on my own as of now. He says the time at home has turned him into a personal trainer, and he keeps setting the bar higher. I want to try my best to get rid of the walker again, again, 2021, so I can be fully functioning by myself. Maybe even if I'm moving with arm crutches, is a step higher than a walker. Lawson says he knows there's still much more he has to do, but the motivation is still the same. The biggest goal is to still be able to run for the Team USA and the Olympic team. So once I get over this stepping stone, then I'll be able to get back to training for, for the um, sport that I love because without track, I don't know where I would be at. Lawson says he couldn't have made the progress he did without his Wildcat family by his side. In Fort Valley, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Trey Lawson also says his organization Rolling Hope has been put aside or on hold during COVID-19, but he hopes to keep raising money for spinal cord research at the Shepherd Center in Atlanta.